Okay, what I thought I'd do is just make a little video, show you guys the Feutech Mini 3D Pro gimbal that I've got. I've got it in manual mode initially. I've got a, the sliders on my uh, Tyrannus radio that control the pan and tilt. So just rotating, it, it rotates continuously. If you give it a pan signal, I forget what the threshold is. If, you, if it's uh, the pan is centered, it'll stay where it is. And if it's you know high or low, it'll rotate either left or right. Here I flip a switch to put it. The gimbal's got three modes. I put it in a second mode. I don't remember the names. And basically, it's going to follow the nose here. So if I had been rotating around or so, it would uh, follow the nose. I put it back in the manual control mode, and uh, which is basically to follow an azimuth. And I'm going to demonstrate that here. I'm going to go pick up the plane if I can figure out which way I want to pick it up so you can see but if you notice the angle that the uh, gimbal the camera is pointing it's basically pointing at where my leg is and so I'm going to pick up the plane and rotate it and if you notice the cameras follow is always pointing more or less at my leg no matter which way the plane's going so that's in the mode where I can control it and I basically got the the stick centered or the head tracker centered so I'll flip it back to mode two I call it where it's following the nose and um, it automatically rotates around it knows where the nose is because that's where I initialized it actually that's the way the base is lined up and so here I'm just rotating it showing that yes it's following the nose and in this mode the tilt is actually following the nose too so when I pick it up here uh, in a second I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in a dive and if you notice there's a little bit of a lag in the how, how the gimbal motors go but the camera's pointed down along you know following the direction of the plane and tilt as well as pan same thing as you go up so that's what I I don't know what their n name for it is but that's mode two so here's mode three where it'll also follow the nose but in this case the tilt is going to be stabilized so the camera is going to be pointing horizontal so you could be in a steep dive and I guess if you weren't paying attention you would you wouldn't know it uh, if you're in a steep climb you'd probably be seeing the nose of the airplane here and again it's following the nose and and stabilized in the other axis okay what I'll show you next is uh, after I put this down here in a moment <clears throat> is the setup with the head tracker and uh, so basically the way the camera pans is it'll pan continuously right or left depending on the signal it's getting it it doesn't uh, follow the head tracker initially so when I first took it up head tracker sitting there it, the head trackers pointed a little bit to the right and if you notice it's panning continuously to the right so to stop it I kind of have to go back to where the head tracker thinks is is centered and then of course the tilt is working normally like a, a regular pan tilt setup would be it's just the panning is is basically I have to look right it rotates right then I look back to wherever the head tracker thinks center is to stop it and so one of the things I'm gonna have to play with is uh, maybe some of the settings on my tour in my radio my Toronto's radio so that I can create uh, a dead zone if you will uh, uh, or so that the head tracker if I'm close to center you know there's a big enough dead zone that it stops the camera and, and I don't have to find the exact perfect spot to stop it because um, it's basically an on off you know on left and on right switch so this is just me playing with it I guess the other thing worth mentioning that I've done if you notice in front of the gimbal and the GoPro I've got a, a regular analog flight cam and uh, so basically I've got that set up so that when I if I, I've got a camera switcher in here as well so if I switch to camera one and it, it does that in fail safe the head trackers essentially deactivated and uh, my video is coming from camera one there which is going to follow the attitude of the plane. 